I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say that bullshit. I'm not gonna say it. No, fuck off. Fuck off. There's no fucking way I'm gonna say that shit. All right, fine. Oh my God, fine. Shut the fuck up. I'm James Douglas. We're about to uh, do our little review of the EOS R, and uh, so let's go ahead and get started with that. Um, first impressions, it's, it's an essential piece of equipment that every photographer needs to have in their bag at all times, and that's this off-white camera strap. It is everything that you want it. No, I'm just kidding, fuck that shit. It's beautiful, here, I don't want First that. impressions, it's great. Even in a studio setting, it works, it's flawless. The, the lens quality, it's sharp, it's sharp as a tack. The touchscreen is so intuitive. Everyone knows how to use this. It's, you know, it's the pinch, it's just like a phone. I mean, it's a little smaller than a phone, but all the menus, everything the way it works, you know, all the icons are all the same. I'm thoroughly impressed. Uh, so some pros and cons right out of the bat. Dude, this thing is lightweight. It weighs nothing. This is like, even with the battery in it, and it weighs it's like as much as like an iPad, which is wild. Um, the lens that it comes with, the, with the kit, 24 to 105, with a programmable ring, which I use, like in a studio setting, we're often set to a certain, like, we don't change our settings very often once we get there. But the programmable ring for run and gun or for running around outside, just being able to change aperture that fast, like that's what I feel like most people are gonna use it for. Without having to get out of the scene, without having to pull your camera down or have to like, you know, mess with these buttons up here, you could just spin that ring and change it. So that's great. And being the first mirrorless by Canon, like you knew that they were gonna, they took their time with it. Everybody else kind of spat theirs out as fast as they could. As they could. Canon was like, you know what, no, we're gonna take our time. We're gonna do this right, and it's built really, really well. You know, metal alloy, with magnesium alloy case. It's not plastic. All the seals are super tight. Um, definitely drip proof. I don't believe we've dripped anything on this camera just yet. <laughs> if, it, if we did drip something, it would be uh, water. Some cons. Uh, the one con. Just kidding. There's a few. <laughs> uh, it's an RF mount. So all my glass for the Canon, for the 5D, 3, and the 5DS and all the SLRs, they're all the EF. So the RF is a little bit different, but it has to be because you're rocking a mirrorless system, so you're not gonna have the same exact mount as you would for, uh, for just the SLRs. But it's an easy fix. Um, I don't know exactly sure how much this costs because we Dodd Camera was nice enough to hook us up with one, but super easy fix. Lens adapter from RF, from RF to EF. It takes five seconds. Boom. There you go. <laughs> and now you're working with all your primes and all your EF glass that you've ever wanted to work with. So, and it's also still just incredibly tack sharp. So it's it's a con because you're working with the new mount, but it's a pro because it doesn't really matter. Or it's fixable, I guess. It doesn't matter because this is not very expensive and makes no difference in the end result. It'll. I'm sure it's coming. Adobe, at me if you have issues. Uh, I'll figure it out for you. Um, but you, when you, we tether a lot in here because we're not on, a, we're not moving. We're just we have the laptop out and whatnot. So it's just for client review, for my sake, for my sanity, shooting directly into the laptop. Something we're always doing. So I'm waiting, eagerly awaiting to tether for this. Like you know, I I've been used to sh looking directly through the viewfinder and seeing exactly what's in front of me, exactly what my eyes are seeing. Here it's obviously a digital projection when you look through the viewfinder, but when you bring your eye right up to it, it's so fast, it goes right to what you're looking at. And in the software, they have a, you know, thumbs up, Owen, what was it like? The, the, oh, it's, it's, it's the exposure compensation yeah. simulation or exposure simulation. You can look right through the viewfinder and see what the final photo is gonna be. When you snap the shutter, you have to almost bring your head down to look, oh, do I get the shot or not? But here you can see it, but in a studio setting, if I'm shooting at f11, about 250th, like I'm not gonna see a whole lot and it's gonna be I'm shooting like, almost like into black. You can turn that off and it just keeps it bright. And as you move around the scene, it adjusts just like that. And that's great. And that was one feature where I was like, oh, this is gonna be a huge con if I can't. But I was like, there's no way Canon didn't think about that. So, hope everybody got some knowledge. And Thank you, Dad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you probably should do that at some point too, yeah? Dodd and Canon, thank you so much for letting us test this out and utilize this. We will send you lots and lots of photos and we'll probably put a couple up as it goes throughout the video. But thank you, thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe, please. Uh, it'll help us out very, very much. Like, comment, 